So in this video we're going to take a quick look at the software on the Sony Xperia S. This is one of the latest devices to come out of the old Sony Ericsson now known as Sony Mobile Communications. So you can take a look at uh, the hardware in another video on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Clove Technology. But we're going to take a look at the software on here. So this is a brand new device out of the box uh, just after launch and it comes with Android version 2.3.7. It's upgradable to ice cream sandwich uh, but at the time of filming that's not available so you can see we've got Android version 2.3.7. Now I know Android's on a lot of devices and you may have seen um, you know version 2.3 on a lot of devices as well but this is just a quick rundown so you get a feel what it's like on the Xperia S it's not by any means extensive and you go into everything but it's just a quick rundown for you to see what's on here so let's take a look at the language and keyboard so you've got a variety of languages that you can select for the device these will change your menus into the language that you select so we've got it in English but you can select any of these lots of different uh, variations of English and Spanish you've got French, Italian, Polish, Russian we also have a more detailed video of the languages on our YouTube channel as well so those are the languages for menus but we also have the ability to select the writing languages and we can see here that we've got some slight differences. We've got Arabic included on here, which is quite popular. And it's good if you travel abroad or it's, you know English isn't your primary language. You've even got Hebrew um, on here as a writing language, Lithuanian, Polish again. And ultimately, if you tick one of these boxes, what it will mean is that you'll have that language available to you in the keyboard. So I've got a draft message here. So we can see that that's in English. But if I, if I open the keyboard, we've got the English keyboard, but I only need to press this and I can flick through to different languages. So here I've got Hebrew, here I've got Russian, and here I've got Arabic. And if I type things, I don't speak Arabic, so I don't know what I'm typing here, um, but you'll actually get the Arabic characters all on screen and joined up in the correct format. So it's really good uh, if you maybe have relatives that speak different languages, like I say, if you have different um, languages that you speak, so it makes a very versatile device. So let's go back to the home screen. Because this is Android 2.3.7, you've got your customizable home screen here we can see that we've got the live wallpaper running in the background. Of course, you've got the ability to change the themes and the wallpapers. So we've got different colors that we can go through here that change that. We've got the ability to add applications to our home screen. We can press and hold and move them like so. We could add a folder. Let's just do that and I can drop things into this folder to make sort of desktop organization a little bit better. So you may have work apps or you may have social apps. You can see in fact one has been done here for you. We've got media and on that, let's just go and take a look at the camera. So we've got 12 megapixel camera on this device. We have the ability to change the resolution. So 9 megapixel, 2 megapixel. We also have quite a few other functions within the camera from flash to self timer to uh, geotagging. So one of the big shout out features of this device is the camera. You've got the ability to zoom digitally using the volume keys. You've then got full HD video recording and again you've got a few settings down the side here. Uh, to allow you to choose between different things. So we can actually have the front facing camera there. That's only 1.3 megapixel. We've got the ability to change the scenes to try and get a better image. 
then we have some other exposure settings so let's come out of that we can have image stabilization we could have the video size so it's full HD at the moment but you can drop it down to 720 or VGA or MMS size if you would like so back to the home screen we've got the phone application so we've got the dialer on here that refines your results as you type in a number searching your phone book of course it will sync to Google if you choose it to so this hasn't been fully set up at the moment within the applications you've got many of the things that you come to expect um, many of the popular apps are pre-installed so you've got the likes of Facebook on here you've got the Google functions from maps to places to Google Plus we've then got the PlayStation uh, store on here because this is PlayStation certified we've got WhatsApp on there they do install Astro file manager um, as standard which is really quite nice and I think that's mostly because this has USB on the go capability so using appropriate cable you can connect to the micro USB port on here um, a USB pen drive or hard drive uh, for accessing more data so if you're a mobile worker you may have a pen drive with some data on it using the appropriate cable you can connect it in here and view the files on the phone no longer do you need a laptop or computer for that so that's quite a nice feature you've got Timescape um, on here which you see on a lot of Sony um, Ericsson devices and they've moved this across to Sony so you can integrate Facebook uh, Twitter uh, for better integration within the phone and your contacts to essentially make communication easier and more fluent we've got the likes of Gmail on here and you can see some of the emails that I've got in here quite standard just popping back to the media let's take a look at the gallery you'll also see we've got an FM radio of course you'll need your headset connected for that so we've got a really crisp display on here here's some of the stock images now it might be quite hard for you to to see this but the quality of these images uh, is sensational we've got the screen up at full brightness here and there's some fantastic colors um, here really stunning and I think where that comes out most is when we go back into the video So you can see the colours are really vibrant. So you get the idea there, the sound that comes out of this device is pretty good as well, um, quite loud. And when you connect up via HDMI to um, a larger display, uh, you're not disappointed with the, the quality. It is all there. Um, and you could easily download a movie or, or play a movie from the device or through the HDMI um, without any trouble whatsoever. Let's just take a look at the web browser. So, of course, we've got the ability to orientate the screen. You can see how the different keyboards are still appearing here. So we can flick through them, I'll go back to English and let's go to the Clove website so it's defaulting through to our mobile uh, pages at the moment so these are designed to optimize anyhow but for the sake of demonstration you can see how the text has configured to the exact format of the screen because it's the mobile it's not letting me zoom out but it's then um, done the same when you turn the device round go back to the home and let's go to the full desktop site so you can see that as well so 
there it is formatted in full in portrait in landscape we can pinch and zoom in and out we can double tap so we've gone to a particular product page so let's try to render the page best as possible the text a bit difficult let's zoom in and it's gone in again we can zoom out again by double tapping we can pinch and zoom in on the screen there to get the best view that we would like so you do have the 3D camera as well just going back to the camera application quickly this is designed for panoramic shots you essentially take stills as you go around and it shows you on screen as you can see from that little indicator there hopefully you can see that going around um, so take lots of pictures to stitch them together to get you that dynamic shot and this does have NFC so we've got the tags uh, feature here we haven't got this programmed at the moment but what you can do is you can have a little tag that's programmed with something you scan the device past it and it will tell your device to do something that you've configured so for example you may have the tag to set your alarm um, switch your Wi-Fi off switch the phone function off it's entirely up to you but you can customize it, it uses the NFC function of the Xperia S to do that so that's a quick software tour of the Sony Xperia S you can check out more videos at youtube.com forward slash clove technology but thanks for watching